G'day, I'm Brad Fawn from Multiol Central and today we've got a real treat for you. We're going to go sailing on the Seawind 1600. This 52 footer was designed by the renowned Reichel Pugh design company and built by Seawind catamarans with more than 35 years in the industry. It's a great combination between performance and luxury cruising with dagger boards and lift up rudders, pretty powerful rig design. It's also got some nice luxury touches to the uh, interior and the configuration around the cockpit and so on. So uh, let's go sailing. Okay, so here we are sailing along on Moreton Bay on the Sea Wind 1600. Uh, pretty light breeze today. We've got about uh, nine knots of true wind speed. Really neat arrangement here at the helm. So nice, beautiful day like today. You can get your head out, see your sails, Lots of visibility on the front deck. Pop through here, you've got full, clear visibility through. But weather turns a bit ordinary, you can pop inside. Or, too hot, you're in the shade. So, here I am completely covered out of the sun. And you've got these clears here that we can roll down and keep out of the rain as well. At the main helm, uh, well this is the port helm obviously, we've got a starboard twin um, duplicate helm as well. We've got twin uh, electronic controls for your, your motors, electric sheet uh, winch control with a two-speed control. So that's back to our main cockpit winch for main halyard, but also jib trimming. And then uh, we've got all of our instruments here as well. So 35 degrees at the moment, uh, and we're doing about five knots in nine knots of breeze. So that's not too bad, a light uh, breeze day. So we get ready for attack. Uh, and we'll throw it through. All right, tack swift through beautifully. Self tack has done its job. As we come inside, again, you've got a huge amount of visibility. Nice saloon uh, seating area, very luxurious. Beautiful, beautifully uh, fitted out, in fact. The timber selections and the timber work is of a very high standard. Very large galley up, uh, lots of shelving, lots of cupboards. So let's look, have a look downstairs. So again, beautifully fitted out. A nice large uh, queen size bed, uh, island arrangement on the ends. Beautiful LED mood lighting through the boat. So this is the owner's cabin version. So we have uh, electric head, vanity, little washing machine, and uh, quite a large shower arrangement at the ends here. That saloon can also, saloon table can be dropped down to make another double bed, which is quite neat. Here we have uh, TV and audio control units. The owners of this boat have opted to have the convertible queen into two single beds. That's just a case of lifting up and removing the, uh, the divider. We have a midship bathroom here, electric toilet, 
vanity and uh, really large shower space. Up forward, you guess cabin, which is more of a three-quarter double. And uh, again, really uh, nice attention to detail. Just spending a bit of time on the, the 1600, the layout is actually really usable. You've got nice galley, saloon area, and you've got the serving window that opens out into the cockpit with a day bed, some seats out the back on the transom, and a comfortable little lounge with essentially another little day bed on the side. Now on the top of the hard top here, you've got a big rain gutter that you can collect water through uh, rainfall and also naturally a great spot for lots of solar panels. So I think these are each about 220 watts, so about 880 uh, watts of solar panels there. Going forward, nice big flat decks, big open spaces to uh, walk through and navigate forward. You notice very large trampolines and uh, good Good uh, freeboard height, in fact, enormous freeboard height uh, that allows the boat to uh, enjoy lots of buoyancy, reserve buoyancy off the breeze. And good bridge deck clearance, which we can't really see there at the moment, but uh, a lot of the weight is further aft, so you don't get that slamming effect that can happen on some cats where the superstructure is too far forward. And you can walk up on top here to pack away sails and walk the entire length of the boom to pack it away also, which is, uh, which is really neat. At the back we have uh, life rafts housed on top of um, carbon fibre davit arrangement with a 3.8 metre high field rib, 15 horse Honda four-stroke outboard, 